Thank you and good morning, everyone. When we gather around treaty lands, our Catholic social teachings call us in solidarity with our indigenous brothers and sisters to honor and respect the four directions, lands, waters, plants, animals, and ancestors that have walked before us. We want to acknowledge the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek Nation, the people of the three fires, known as Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi Nations. We acknowledge the rich historical and modern traditions of the many First Nations and Métis people. We further give thanks to the Chippewas of Saugeen and the Chippewas of Nawash, now known as the Saugeen Ojibwe Nation, as the traditional keepers of this land. I'll now pass it on to our chaplain, Mrs. Legacy, for today's prayer. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Today is Tuesday, May 11th. Today's reading is from the Epistle of Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The ability to balance opposites is a mark of spiritual maturity. We must be able to take school seriously enough to maintain good grades, but not take it so seriously that we think our grades define us. In a similar way, we must be able to feel sorrow and pain in the world, yet not allow it to overcome us. Christ experienced unimaginable pain and suffering, yet he never gave in to his suffering. He remained true to his love of God the Father. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Guiding Christ, keep us afloat amid the waves and currents that we face. Baptize us in this sea, and let us be born again today. Amen. Sacred Heart, have mercy on us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 